What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Ambassador Zimmy with the Xbox Ambassador Program and here's my review for The Division 2. I did receive a copy of this game for review and content creation purposes from Xbox, but with that being said, all thoughts and opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. The Division 2 is the sequel to the first game, The Division, taking many of the things that made the first game great and expanding on them to make this game even better. The gameplay is for most parts very fun. I did encounter the game crashing once and a few frame rate issues, but that is to be expected with a game that is just launched. For the most part, the game does run very smooth. Like the first game, this game uses the same cover and shoot mechanics which is refreshing as most games today allow you to just run in guns a-blazing. The Division 2 is different in that you must use cover to survive and flanking your enemy is always advantageous. The map size at first looks small, but once you're in the world you really begin to see the sheer size of the map. Not to add that when DLC comes out to the game, the map size will probably grow with it. The overall story of this game I find a bit bland and not too interesting. The game takes off right after the events of the first game. You are sent to Washington when the systems controlling your advanced technology and communications get shut off. Once in Washington, you are tasked with helping civilian settlements and restoring communications. There are a few more twists and turns along the way, but this review is spoiler free so I will just stop at that. So if you're looking for an amazing narrative driven game, you might want to look elsewhere, as this game's story is really nothing more than just okay. Which in my opinion is fine as a lot of the people who play this game will most likely be focusing on playing this game with their friends, earning loot, and mindlessly killing bosses. But with that being said, you can play this game by yourself all the way if you wanted to, but I definitely do feel that it's best played with friends. There is also a huge variety of weapons and items to choose from and loot. Each weapon has its own pros and cons and are overall well balanced. One great thing that Ubisoft did with this game is better streamlining how to use your equipment and making it easier to do inventory management. I also very much appreciate them changing the amount of health that these enemies have. In the first game, a lot of the times it felt that every bad guy was just a bullet sponge, and fortunately they fixed this so that the game is still challenging, yet goes on at a good pace. The enemy AI are also really good, constantly trying to push your flanks to get behind you. This actually surprised me as most games released today have the enemies mindlessly wandering around or just hiding behind cover and really posing no challenge. Overall, The Division 2 is a well-rounded, if not a bit grindy and repetitive at moments game. If you're a fan of looter shooters like Anthem and Destiny, I would definitely suggest this game as it is a very competent game in the genre. If you are more of a solo gamer, not looking to play with friends, I would suggest maybe wait a bit and buy this one on sale if you're still into it. Other than that, this is it for the review. Hopefully I was able to help you decide whether or not to buy The Division 2. If you have any questions about about this game, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below and either I or someone who has played the game will hopefully answer your question. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. If you never want to miss out on videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out guys.